Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. This news in the streets. Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Hey, tea sippers. I hope you guys are doing okay. Um, so I was going to work on a different video, and then I went on Twitter and I seen not Fez trending. And I'm like, what do y'all mean, not Fez? And I literally almost thought it was a joke at first. And then I started looking at the rest of the trending topic. And I saw only 25, Angus, Mac Miller, damn Fez. And I'm just like, do not tell me something happened to Angus Cloud. And unfortunately, it's just been announced as of 20 minutes ago that he passed away at the age of 25. Now, as you guys know, um, I'm a big fan of the show Euphoria. We did a call-in show for the season finale. All of the young tea sippers put me on Euphoria and on top of my kids. And so, you know, all the young people started watching it, and I would always hear about it. They're like, you got to watch it, T. You got to watch it, T. So I finally said, okay, let me go ahead and start watching this because my kids watch it. Like, literally every young person I know under the age of 25 watches this show. And I was just blown away by the show, the acting, just everything. But as you guys know, one of my top favorite characters on the show was Fez, Fezco. Um, I loved his character. He was very, very late back. And I also loved his little brother, Ashtray, because he was just crazy on the show. And, um... Once I got into Euphoria after season one, you know, I watched season two. I just, I binge watched it. So we've been waiting for season three, but then it was announced, you know, we're dealing with the whole writer's strike and everything else. So Euphoria has been pushed back until like 2025 or something like that. So all we have is the first two seasons. And I started following Fez after season one and I just liked him. He used to tweet a lot. He hasn't tweeted in a long time. But I also noticed that over the past few months, he had been kind of making the headlines for some troubling things that I would see. So initially, back in February of this year, um, he had landed on the police radar for a hit and run accident. So that went viral all over TikTok. And a lot of people were kind of shocked, you know, about this whole hit and run situation. Then it was kind of swept away under the rug. And then a few months later, in April of 2023, his former manager, Diomi, came out. and He basically took to Twitter and blasted him and had like 23 pages of things just written about all the stuff he's gone through with him. Now, this manager, Diomi, um, he's, he's somewhat famous. He used to also be the manager for Woe Vicky and Little Tay as well. So I guess he was managing Angus. And so they had issues where he said that Angus was having a lot of issues with drugs. He threw up on him. And so this was being talked about just a few months ago. I'm going to go ahead and play you guys these clips. Go ahead and check this out. Talk about euphoria star Angus Cloud now because he's facing some similar issues. Harsh, harsh allegations, I should say, from his former manager who claims the actor is an abu abusive drug addict who owes him more than $60,000 in unpaid wages. In a Twitter thread, the former manager also says Cloud once vomited in his face when he had to perform CPR due to an alleged drug overdose. He says he met Cloud in 2021 while working as a mental health technician in a rehab facility and helped him get back on his feet as he shot to stardom. So far, Cloud has yet to respond. Euphoria star Angus Cloud's ex-talent manager is making some very serious accusations against him. Giomi posted a 23-page Twitter thread saying he had to resign as Angus's manager due to verbal abuse from him, emotional distress, and his severe drug addiction. One of the things he talks about is Angus's severe drug addiction on the set of Euphoria. Apparently, he was in rehab the last two weeks of the filming of season two. He was a zombie on set. Everybody was worried, and Sam Levinson was like, please, please get help. We don't want you to die. Apparently, HBO and Sam felt it was very necessary for him to get sober. And here's a letter sent by HBO to Angus with stipulations what he had to adhere to in order to remain on the show. He goes in. I mean, there's pages and pages and pages of this. 
So why is he sharing all this? Jomi says, as a result of my resignation for over a year, I have been pursuing the collection of my outstanding management commissions from Angus, totaling over $60,000. So he wants to get paid. He wants his money. He says, despite repeated attempts to resolve this matter amicably, I have yet to receive any of the payments owed to me. Wow. Angus versus his manager. All right, so you guys just saw those clips. So this entire situation is really sad. And then today, like I said, as of 20 minutes ago, this is what was stated by TMZ. So they wrote this. Angus Cloud, famous from Euphoria, has died at his family's home in Oakland. The actor's family tells us it is with the heaviest heart that we say goodbye to an incredible human being today. As an artist, a friend, a brother, and a son, Angus was special to all of us in many ways. Last week, he buried his father and intensely struggled with this loss. The only comfort we have is knowing that Angus is now reunited with his dad, who was his best friend. Angus was open about his battles with mental health, and we hope that his passing can be a reminder to others that they are not alone and, sh and should not fight this in their own silence. They also go on to say, we hope the world remembers him for his humor, Laughter and love for everyone. We ask for privacy at this time as we are still processing this devastating loss. So the family is not telling TMZ or anybody how he passed, but I'm assuming it may have been either the S word or possibly drugs or drug overdose. But either way, it's really sad. I think a lot of people really resonated with not just Angus, but also his character Fez because he was just so laid back and chill. And the way that he got into Hollywood was almost like a fairy tale. You know, this was a young man who was waiting tables. You know, um, he had very little money. And they just happened to see him and he got scouted. And that's the way it used to happen back in the day where you might just have a look and you get scouted by a scouting agent. And that's how he got discovered. He didn't come up through nepotism. He didn't come up because, you know, he was on the casting couch. He literally got scouted. And, you know, he went from struggling and working, you know, this part-time job to being on Euphoria and being one of the breakout stars of Euphoria. Who are you wearing? You look incredible. Dolce and Gabbana, you know what I mean? That's a good time. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Have you seen the viral video of someone who was like, oh my God, you were their waiter at their birthday brunch years ago in Brooklyn, and now they have this video? <laughs> oh, I was a lot of people's, you feel me, bus boy, waiter, server, you feel me, in all shapes and forms. What would you tell yourself then, like knowing what you know now that you're here, you've made it your Vanity Fair? Uh, yeah, I'd be like, Damn, what you doing over there, man? That's wild. <laughs> yeah. Well, what do you tell? That suit at? And that's part of what I was saying on my live stream is that we need to get back to that, where we're giving up and coming people a chance, where we're going out and scouting talent, as opposed to just using people who are already in the industry, who already have a name for themselves, because he had no acting ability, really. All his was natural talent. And they wouldn't have been able to find that casting somebody who was ready in the industry. And so it's just really sad to just hear this. One, because he's so young at only 25 years old. And it seemed like he might have been battling a few things, you know. But I just hope he finds peace. Um, I don't know what's going to happen with the show. Because a lot of people are saying that it doesn't look like there will be a euphoria. Just because of all the things that were leading up to this. <sighs> We're never getting season three at this point, are we? First cat is leaving. Maddie might be leaving too. Chloe Cherry got arrested for shoplifting, and this one doesn't even make any sense to me. You are an actor on one of the biggest shows in the world. You got money. We know you have money. Why are you shoplifting a shirt that costs twenty eight dollars? I expected this from everybody else, but not our boy Fez. <sighs> just, dude, just throw the show out at this point. If these people aren't coming back, there's no point. So with that being said, feel free to leave a comment down below. Let me know your thoughts on the passing of Angus Cloud, a.k.a. Fezco. Um, how do you guys feel about this? Were you a fan of Euphoria? And um, if he was dealing with any substance abuse situations, I wonder if him playing the role of Fez was hard. 
you know, because if you're dealing with drug issues or potential or alleged drug issues per his manager, then it's hard to play this role as a drug dealer who's around drugs all the time. And maybe even being on the show may have caused him to relapse possibly. This is just me thinking out loud. You know, again, I don't know all of the details, but it's just really sad that this young man is no longer here and him being only 25 years old. It's really sad. So go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know y'all's thoughts. You know, like I always say, life is short. Enjoy every minute like it's your last because you never know when it's your time to go. So rest in peace to Angus Cloud, a.k.a. Fesco. Thank you for everything that you put into your character on Euphoria. It was wonderful to watch. So I really appreciated the show. So, yes, go ahead and leave a comment, and I'll talk to y'all later. Deuces. On the way to the Ralph Lauren fashion show, can't forget the polo red. Got my hat, got my jacket, and you know you can't forget that smell good. Keep that polo red. Sound like the man when you walk through it. Yes, sir, ski. Let's go. If you want the latest news in the streets, join us sentiment for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely tea TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely tea TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe.